the first thing that we need to do to solve this quadratic by completing the square is to bring this 1 over to the other side. We want only the x terms on the left hand side. The next thing we need to do is take a look at the left hand side and identify the missing term so that we have a perfect square trinomial. Remember, the missing term is always 1 half times the coefficient of x, which in this case is 1, squared. Okay, so it's 1 half the coefficient of x squared. That's the missing term in completing the square. So that's equal to 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. Once we've identified this, we need to add both sides of the quadratic by this missing term. Okay, let's clean up the right-hand side a little bit. One plus one fourth is five fourths. Now, what we need to do is factor the left hand side. It's always going to be x plus or minus something squared. Since it's plus here, it's plus here. And the term that fills this slot is always going to be the square root of this guy. Likewise, it's going to be whatever you're squaring here and identifying the missing term. So you can look at it any way you want, but in either of these cases, the square root of 1 fourth is 1 half. What we're squaring here is 1 half. So those are two reasons to support the fact that we need a 1 half in this slot. Next, we want to rewrite this equation without the square. So x plus 1 half is equal to plus or minus the square root of this right-hand side. And just rewriting the right-hand side, we have plus or minus the square root of 5 over the square root of 4. And we know that the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so now our equation is reduced to x plus 1 half equals plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now what we need to do is subtract 1 half from both sides. And finally we need to write out the two solutions that are contained in this simplified statement. These are the two solutions to the given quadratic equation. Let's do another problem. Okay, just like in the last case, we want to bring the constant term over to the right-hand side. Now this quadratic is different from the last one in that now the coefficient of x squared is something other than 1. It's 3. The next thing we do before we complete the square is divide both sides by this coefficient of x squared, which is 3. So we divide that by 3, we divide that by 3, we divide everything by 3. And now we rewrite 3x squared divided by 3, the 3's cancel and that leaves us with x squared. 24x divided by 3, that 3 cancels with the factor of 3 there, 
raise this with 8, so we have minus 8x equals 1 third. And now we're ready to complete the square as usual. So we'll begin by finding the missing term so that we have a perfect square trinomial on the left. Remember, we want to write it as x plus something squared or x minus something squared. That's the technique of completing the square. Okay, the missing term always has a one-half. And we take one-half multiplied by the coefficient of x. And we square that. So that gives us negative 4 squared, which is 16. So the missing term here, so that we have a perfect square on the left, is 16. What we want to do is add both sides of the equation, add 16 to both sides of the equation, so that we can have a perfect square on the left-hand side. Okay, let's just clean up the right-hand side a little bit. 1 third plus 16. The common denominator here is 3, so we want to go to the 16 and multiply the top and the bottom by 3. So that gives us 1 third plus 48 over 3. And that simplifies to 49 divided by 3. Okay, so now we can re rewrite our equation as x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 49 divided by 3. Okay, now we've added the missing term on the left-hand side so that we have a perfect square trinomial. So the last thing we do before getting rid of the quadratic piece is to factor this. So it factors as x, and then we have a square outside there. Because of this minus here, we have a minus. The square root of this is 4. So I know that's what goes right there. And that's still equal to 49 divided by 3. Now we rewrite this without the squared term as x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49 divided by 3. We can simplify this square root of 49 divided by 3. The square root of 49 divided by the square root of 3. The square root of 49 is 7. And now we have to rationalize this denominator. So we take the square root of 3 on the bottom, the square root of 3 on the top, and multiply. So this gives us plus or minus. 7 square root of 3 divided by root 3 times root 3 is 3. Okay, so what we have now is that x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus 7 times the square root of 3 divided by 3. Next, we want to add 4 to both sides. And finally, we want to write out the two solutions in expanded form. And these are the two solutions to the quadratic equation.